Here's a tip you desire to know, working with the Dropbox feedback. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to provide feedback on your students' assignments submitted to the Dropbox. There are a few ways to do this. We could use Turnitin or download the assignment and mark it up and then upload it back, or you can just use the built-in feedback tool in the Dropbox. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the latter two processes to learn more about the Turnitin option. Please view the previous Dropbox video. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we assume that you already have the Dropbox created. Let's take a look at our Dropbox and zoom down here. In this particular Dropbox, the uh, student has submitted a paper already. We just created this providing feedback to students. So I'd like to look at the student's paper or assignment and then give some feedback. So click on the Dropbox folder and come down here. I can hide these search options here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I can see that this particular file has been uploaded from Haas Cartwright. And I want to leave feedback. All I need to do is click on Leave Feedback. And when I open this window up, I have a button over here that allows me to download this particular files. If there were more than one here, I could just click on this file here, like this, and it would ask me to open it or save it. So I could do that and then mark up the paper. And then if I wanted to upload that paper with my uh, highlighted markups on it, I can also give feedback right in here. Click on this little text box here, and here you go. Create job, or whatever you need to say in there. And then I could upload that file again and add it right here. Or if I didn't want to download this file and mark it up, I could just leave the text um, right in this box here in the feedback. And then I could even add another file. Maybe I wanted to give a review file or some other document that would help the students learning um, of that particular item and give him some him or her some uh, feedback on some different items within that. I could send those files up that way. So once I do that and save that, now you'll see that when I look at the Dropbox as an instructor and I look at Haas's, uh, name here. Feedback was left on this particular day and Haas will be able to see that. Let's see how a student sees that. If I log in as Haas and we'll take a look at what Haas sees in this particular class, how they can go into their Dropbox and that's the folder or the class here and we go into the Dropbox and now Haas can scroll down and this was the um, Dropbox folder. He can view feedback in this column you see right up here. There's feedback. He can view the feedback right here. So click on that. And if you had uploaded a file, the file would be here. And then he could open that particular file. But here's his Dropbox feedback that was simply done as text in the other little um, feedback text box that was provided with you. So here's the little feedback here. You go, great job. And there's all there is to it.